this is what Irving meant by answers. Not sure. But obviously there's a connection here with Umbrella. And that's never a good sign. We can worry about this later. First we need to find out about Jill. You're right. Let's see what we can dig up. Hell yeah. What is up lads? Cats and Crow here. Back playing Resident Evil 5 HD. In the last episode. We were doing some belonging into his underground room, just seeing what's going on. Actually not really seeing, just finding a way out. Hopefully getting to Umbrella, I think, because of Irving's directions. Anyways, we're still continuing on with this episode as we are trying to find Jill as Chris said. Weirdly enough, there's Umbrella as well as Tricell stuff going on. Or items. We have no idea what it's for, so... Yeah. It's... It's a bigger conspiracy than what we thought. Let's... Let's just play this episode. Or this part of the chapter. See what's popping. Oh god, why did I say that? Why would I like to say that somehow these people... Got through the ruins? Uh, I'm just saying that it's fucking weird. Read document from Chief Researcher Brandon's journal number one, 1966. What the fuck? Some before Mr. Spencer once spoke of a flower called the Stairway to the Sun. Supposedly, this flower would give the person who consumed it incredible abilities. I once thought it was just it was nothing more than a rumor or a legend that Mr. Spencer was telling us, but later research would prove us wrong. The first person to recognize the validity of that story was my teacher, Dr. James Marcus. James Marcus! From Zero. Fuck. He hypnotized that... Hip hypothesized that a virus here to unknown might exist that could alter DNA. The man was so precarious. His hypothesis turned out to be a correct. The virus discovered in the flower was labeled progenitor. For three months in Africa, we worked diligently. Fed over results and stayed off attack from the Nidhi Paya. I think those are the tribal Magini that we keep on seeing. Or we even saw the last two episodes. After such time, our efforts were finally rewarded. Even Dr. Marcus, who until yesterday looked exhausted, was in good spirits. He wants to return to his home, return home as soon as possible to d delve deeper into his research. I'm guessing somewhere the or the mansion back in Arclay Mountains. I feel the same way. I want to learn the secrets of the, this progenitor virus as soon as possible. On to 67 now. We fit the metamorphical brick wall. We bought the progenitor flower back from Africa and attempted to cult, cultivate it from cultivate it here. The initial culture samples of the progenitor virus have not shown DNA altering characteristics. We cultivated the flower to mass produce the progenitor virus. At first everything proceeded smoothly. The plants were strong and grew quickly. In a short amount of time they are flowered. But here is when a major problem surfaced. The flowers did not contain the progenitor virus. Perhaps the environment in which they are grown triggers the development of the virus. This master must be investigated further. March 23rd, we made no progress. We tried cultivating the pr flower under different conditions, but with no luck in triggering development of the virus itself. Thus far, we have tried changing the soil, water, temperature, and light exposure with all, all with no success. I got into a heated debate with Dr. Marcus about the direction this research was taking. During the debate, Mr. Spencer injected some full-hearted notion of starting a company. Oh. Guess umbrella. Without the progenitor, progenitor virus, there is no point in starting a company. Does he not see that? It's all pointless. Okay. Somehow that document survived from the 60s. <coughs> uh, whoa. Okay, this is has, has to be near the end because this is chapter 5. There's only 6 chapters, I believe. It's cool. 
been to the true Resident Evil games. Power on. Oh, another journal. 98. We close on the research center. It's strange, but I don't really care. It's indifferent for I'm indifferent for to the whole thing. I feel the same way as when I heard that the Arclay facility and Reckon Seed were destroyed. When did I become so apath apathetic? Apathic? I don't know how to say that. I've spent every waking moment researching and extracting the progenitor virus. Everything I did was for Dr. Marcus. Actually, when I think about it, I probably stopped caring that they heard he had died all those years ago. I didn't feel angry or happy, or even shocked. I just felt nothing at all. It was, <coughs> it was as if my emotions just shut down. I just kept sending out samples of the progenitor virus to all the Umbrella's laboratories. I was just an automated machine reporting to Umbrella HQ every time one of my subordinates made a breakthrough or discovered something new. I was like a zombie ambling through life, no thoughts, no feelings. Now the research center I spent half my life is closed, and we don't care one way or another. It's probably all for the best. Perhaps it is too late to have any semblance of a life again. Well, that's depressing, dude. She even taking all the shit. Um. Ooh. Take it, Roger. She even needs that. Right, so how will the zombie zombie thing go? Okay, so that thing was on the walls. Of course. Had to be. You need to be careful! Oh she he she healed me off the bat, you know what? Um I think it's best if I had to incendiate. Give me a grenade! Take this! Right. Ah, finding the research. I don't know how. But they could be using them to produce biological weapons. Yeah, I think. This is the facility from the picture. No doubt about it. We're finally getting somewhere. Hell yeah. Some flowers again. Some I don't think these are from Mother's Day. Hell no. And I need those shells. I need ammo. Use this. I don't have rifle bullets. That sucks. I can power this on. Try cell logo. Email to an acquaintance. Hey, I know this is sudden, but I'm going to get some time off soon. We've completed most of our work on the new project. Sorry, you know, I can't talk about work. So they're giving us some time off as a reward for all our hard work. All the staff are leaving tomorrow, and we'll finally be getting out of this country. I'm heading straight to Arizona, and I can't wait to get home and see everyone. More than that, I think I'll just be happy to get away from the high and mighty Miguel. Miguel. Guy thinks he's some sort of super genius. Miguel's a guy that sits next to me at work and he's a good researcher and all, but don't get me wrong. He got some good ideas and is good at nosing details, but every time he opens his mouth, he, he just goes on and on about how great he is. You can't even begin to imagine what torture it is to hear that day in, day in out. Wait, day in and day out. I wish we made a sedate as I could give him. <coughs> but forget all that. What matters is that I should be, I be, I should be back home within the next few days. When I get back, I'll give you a call. You gotta go out and get smashed. I can use the break. Talk to you soon, Ryan. Ryan. Hmm. Whoa. That is a happy dude. Oh, those are claw marks. That's a fucking big splatter, dude. What the hell? You just drag a body up the wall? No. What's this? Handgun balls, of course. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say that. I actually changed my pistol. Finally sold off my old one. Got a new one. Upgraded a little bit. I'm gonna save some money. Hello? Fucking oh, no. hell. Ah, uh, this has to be some type of <coughs> experimental center, huh? Lever. Ooh. 
Oh no. Let me guess. Careful. Or some I saw something. Or some type. Wait. Looks like it was torn by part by animals. Not a good way to go. What even is that, dude? I hope it's an animal, not a human. Oh yeah. We can break through the glass. Forgot about that. Wait. Ooh. Goats? Actual goats, dude? And animals in it? Wait. Are these alright? Some lab animals. How long have they been locked up? I don't know, dude. Looks like bones, I see. That could just be patterned in the fur. Oh. Hyenas. C-O-W research, huh? Hmm. Oh. Take it. Okay. <clears throat> Ah, uh, screw it. I don't... I don't really care about my pistol anymore. Mm. Oh, of course. Of course you are. Yeah, you did. He dead? He dead. Oh, the... Of course. Ow. Ow. Yeah. No. Ow. He's still alive. Whoa, hold on. Ow. There. You done? He is. Oh, it goes my health. Ooh, lion heart? Okay. Hmm. Wait, was there a way either? No. Ugh. Yeah, I do this shit. Alright. Anyone? Ooh, gold. Um. Yeah, this, yes. Ooh, what's this? AK? I'm taking that. Um, you can have my... Uh... Fuck. Mmm. I don't want to give her my shot. No, it's good. I'll give her the AK. I owe you one. Okay, now let's think about it. Give me an herb. Mm. Use this. I'll just use it. I Not owe you one. Or whatever. Right. Could have used it prematurely. What's around the corner? Checkpoint. Thank God there weren't more of them. Yeah, we wouldn't last in a fight with a whole horde. You bet it. Uh, but there has to be more. I don't like that door. I don't know why. Great. Pull lever. Pull on. Oh. I don't think they'll notice us. Oh. Oh, yeah. Their senses are weak. Yeah. I'll just keep it quiet. We should be as quiet as possible. They're attracted to noise. I remember that. Right. Right. Please don't notice me. Oh, that door looks fucked up. Oh, 
move. Oh no, screw it. Those lickers are damn sponges. And whenever I have a chance, maybe when I die. Also, what kind what of fucking hell is this? This is more extravagant than extravagant than Corvonicus. No, even when I'm talking about Star Wars. This was in the pictures too. Really? I don't remember Wait. this. That means Jill might be here. Ah. Oh fuck, they're gonna release everything, aren't they? Mm. What is this? Oh, excuse me? What? What have they done? Farming humans? Jill Valentine? Oh. Jill! Oh, she was a subject too.
this much.
down with your s mosquitoes. I don't even know what the hell those are supposed to be. Chapter 5 1. Got the trophy of completing it too. So, yeah. You ain't found the library. Was that the boss that we just fought? Yeah, whatever. Anyways, I'll leave it off here. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like for this episode. And don't forget to subscribe and share with other friends. And I shall see you in another episode. You watch next to this channel, man.